Hello and welcome to the Play Android Game Reviews. I'm Daniel and today I'll be showing you Fun Football Brazil by developer UBJ3D. As you might have guessed, it's a football game, it's a sports game and with the name you already know what it's all about. It's about the World Cup right now happening in Brazil. And I already started the game and you can see the main menu here with the title of the game with some nice animations and some menu points. Friendly match tournament or invite your friends with Facebook. Then you have those three buttons at the bottom. On the left is the options button and in the middle is the well, let's just check it out. Sharing button for Facebook, email or SMS. And then there's the info button, which provides you with a help menu. There you can well, look at how to play the game, what the guys have in store for the game and contact the developers directly. It's a nice touch because it, it doesn't have it doesn't happen really often that you can directly contact dev developers and make your thoughts about the game heard. And usually this happens with Google Play, but yeah, hardly ever gets noticed. Okay, let's just start up the game then. And I'll be playing tournament right now because I'll show you in, in a few minutes. New or continue because we haven't started the game yet. We choose new human player and difficulty so this means we can choose how many people will play at the same time and because I'm alone I'll choose one of course but if you have a friend over and you have maybe a tablet you can choose here two human players and two people can play the game at the same time well because and because it's round based and turn based gameplay there's room for two players actually. I'll be playing easy because <laughs> I didn't play it that much. I'm not that good at it yet. And I'll just go ahead. And here you can choose your country. And what kind of country you want to play for. And I'll of course choose Germany. And here you have it, the World Cups groups. We are in group G. As you can see with marked by this ball there and let's just go ahead and the game will show you all the first matches round 1 a to d and we can simulate it or we can watch it let's just go ahead and watch it it's brazil versus croatia time let's just set it to Two, that's enough and we can choose the weather settings no um, we can't choose the weather settings in the other mode in the well friendly match mode you can choose actually if you want to play with rain or stormy or well sunshine weather let's just tap the ball and start the game and this is how the game looks you have these graphics you have this top-down view on the game you see the only the players' heads, of course, and their shoulders. It's a bit reduced, but I'll be talking about this in a moment. Touch to start, and the game starts, and because it's simulation, the computer is doing all the work. That's great for me, because I can talk more freely about the game while the computer is playing for me. And as you can see, he is, or the computer is starting right away. And as I talked before about the graphics, it's top down and it's a bit sad because you really only have this limited view of the players and because of that there's not much not much variation going on battery warning just tap that away and you only see their jerseys and their hair basically and that's all there is that is actually different between the players which i found a bit well lacking in graphics but still the game looks pretty good and because of this limited view you have a clearer oversight of what is going on who is where and what needs to be done next 
And as you can see, there's always this red circle. Touch the start for a second. Huh? Red circle around those players. And I'll be talking about this later in a friendly match. But let's just look at it a bit more. You can see turn-based gameplay. The players wait until every player had their chance to, well, kick the ball or pass the ball to other players. And there are only, I think, one, two, three, five players on the field for each side, so they're not 11. Would be a bit crowded. And yeah, I think this suits the game better. It doesn't want to be a perfect simulation, of course, so yeah, five players is enough. And as you might hear in the background, there is cheering going on. You can hear, well, the whistles of the referees. You can hear people shout. And I think sound-wise, it really cre creates a good atmosphere of being in a stadium and just being there and playing the game. And okay, we are done and Brazil won. Let's tap continue. And we could go on here. Let's go back up top and we see an ad zone, <laughs> sadly. Okay, this, this is what I was talking before. You, so here you saw those balls coming down. Even the menu has nice animations and the game as well. The players might be limited to a top-down view, but it's all very nicely animated and it's fluid. There are no lags in the graphics and the sound as well. And let's just start the friendly match and I'll be leaving it at that. Difficult or maybe easy. And here I can change the weather from snow to rain, indoor and, well, sunshine. It's Argentina versus Australia and I'll be playing for Argentina. And it's starting and now I have the control of the player. And you see this red circle slowly diminishing. That's your time, the time you have for a successful pass or kick and as you might have seen I can pull out the player I can hold the player and well the computer is just doing the, all the work and the computer goal and I can hold the player and while I'm holding the player I can pull him out of this red circle and the farther I pull away the stronger the shot will get and yeah that's all about it all about the there he is all about the controls and it's really easy to control it's precise and yeah Yeah, I'll just play along. I'm sorry if I'm not talking constantly because, well, I'm playing and talking at the same time. Isn't that easy? And yeah, I just grab the ball as it seems. And again, and no, yeah. And that's all about there is talking about uh, controls because it's one touch gameplay. It's really easy. It's easy to get and there is, of course, help for it, but it's pretty intuitive and you don't really need it because you can just go right into the game. Okay, here down on the right you have a menu button which ends the game. So let's go back to game and let's pl let the computer play again because it's quite a bit easier for me. And continue. And let's watch Mexico against Cameroon. And time four and start the round. And this is, I mean, there are a lot of football games out there and the concept is nothing new, but how you play it, it's really unique because most football games are diehard simulations. This game doesn't try to be this way. It's just, well, it's a fun game and it employs some unique gameplay mechanics I haven't seen before in any game and this really makes the game stand out and in terms of replayability I mean you can play the whole World Cup what isn't there to like I mean you can basically simulate your well wished outcome if your favorite team lost or something you can make them win in the game or you can play it as a 
Oracle, like let the computer play and see who wins and then say, yeah, maybe it's the same in real life. Who knows? And as you can see, the game looks pretty simple, as I said before, but this doesn't hamper the fun you can have with it. And because it's very multiplayer friendly when it comes to people playing on the same device, this makes the game really stand out because it turn it's turn based. There won't be any hectic, hectic gameplay going on, and it's perfect for, well, if you have a friend over or something and you just want to have a good time, and yeah, you probably will pick up this game again. Maybe not so much after the World Cup. I don't know, uh, but. It's fun on its own. It doesn't need to World Cup to be fun, actually. And yeah, that's all there is about the game. And if you want to read our in-depth review, head right over to playandroid.com. We have an article with a final score of the game. The link is in the video description, as well as the download link in Google Play Store. The game is free, of course, so go on ahead and try it out. You won't lose anything. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you tune in next time and I say goodbye.